Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. NVIDIA's H20 chip has encountered an unprecedented cold winter in the Chinese market. Even at a discount, it is still unpopular. The reason behind this is not only a dilemma of an enterprise, but also a true reflection of the fierce competition between China and the United States in science and technology. Today, China will dig deep into the causes and consequences of this chip war and the hidden scientific and technological power confrontation behind it. The United States has set up many obstacles to chip exports to China. In order to circumvent sanctions, NVIDIA launched a castrated version of H20 with greatly reduced performance. The performance has been cut, but the price is still high, resulting in mediocre market response. Coupled with the embargo on the A100 chip in the Chinese market, NVIDIA's business in China has been further aggravated. NVIDIA's importance in the Chinese market is self-evident, and more than 30% of its profits come from this. It can be said that the Chinese market is NVIDIA's cash cow. But now, this big tree has been severely cut by the restrictive policies of the US government. Without the Chinese market, NVIDIA not only faces huge losses in profits, but also may lose its leading position in technology and market. In sharp contrast to NVIDIA's predicament is the rapid rise of China's local chip companies. Huawei's Ascend 910 chip has performance indicators close to or even surpassing NVIDIA's A100. This achievement is not only a victory for Huawei, but also a proof of China's technological strength. At the same time, Huawei's Kirin series chips are constantly breaking through technical bottlenecks and reaching the leading level of 7 nanometers. This breakthrough has enabled China to gradually narrow the gap with the world's top level in the field of high-end chips and even surpass it in some areas. Not only chips, Chinese technology has achieved remarkable results in many fields. In 2023, Huawei's new generation of Kirin chip process reached 7 nanometers, marking a major breakthrough in China's chip manufacturing process. At the same time, China's first domestically produced 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine has also entered the landing stage, which means that China has made an independent breakthrough in key equipment for chip manufacturing. The aviation field is also another highlight of Chinese technology. The C919 large passenger aircraft completed its maiden flight, marking an important step for China in the field of large passenger aircraft manufacturing. The C929 large transport aircraft is expected to make its maiden flight in 2028, while the C939 is catching up with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. In the field of aerospace, China's independently developed Tiangong space station has become the world's longest-running in-orbit spacecraft. Chang'e 6 will start its first landing and exploration on the back of the moon, and the Shenzhou 18 manned space mission has also been successful. These achievements not only demonstrate China's strong strength in aerospace technology, but also vividly reflect China's scientific and technological self-reliance. In terms of military equipment, the J 25th generation fighter has begun to be equipped, and the J 35 large twin engine fighter has the world's leading stealth performance. These advanced military equipment reflects China's strong R&D and manufacturing capabilities 
in the field of national defense science and technology. In terms of operating systems, the Hongmeng system has covered multiple usage scenarios in the three years since its release, forming a three-legged situation with Android and iOS. This achievement not only breaks the monopoly of foreign operating systems, but also enhances China's voice in the field of information technology. In recent years, China has made many breakthroughs in cutting-edge science and technology fields, such as artificial intelligence, robotics, and quantum computing. Every progress depicts the picture of China's growing scientific and technological power. Independent innovation has become the main theme of China's scientific and technological development. The West has long suppressed China's development with technology monopoly and supply cuts. However, this suppression has instead inspired China's determination to be self-reliant. Independent innovation is of decisive significance to China's national rejuvenation. On this road, China is going all out to accelerate its breakthrough. NVIDIA's failure in the Chinese market not only indicates that the overall technological strength of the United States is declining, but also reflects the rapid development of China's science and technology. The United States, once regarded as a technological myth, has now begun to show signs of being unable to cope with it in some areas. And China is catching up with and even surpassing these former technology giants at an astonishing speed. This is not just a scientific and technological competition, but also a strategic duel about the country's future and international status. China's rapid development of science and technology shows that China will eventually achieve independent innovation and independence and establish an unshakable technological force. The American technological myth is being pierced and becomes an illusory shell. China, which is ready to go and growing stronger, will surely create its own new myth. In this process, the efforts and innovations of every Chinese are part of China's scientific and technological strength. China believes that in the near future, China's scientific and technological strength will stand at the top of the world and contribute more Chinese wisdom and solutions to global scientific and technological development. The rise of Chinese science and technology is not only a national success story, but also the common glory and dream of every Chinese. Let China continue to support independent innovation and witness the brilliant future of Chinese science and technology together.